and we are live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very impromptu stream. Um, just wanted to go live real quick. Uh, been seeing a lot of stuff about mods and people not knowing what and how to farm proper speed mods, and that's what we're gonna cover today a little bit, just to just to talk a little bit of mods because me and Dagger both just absolutely love mods, don't we, Dagger? Yep. <laughs> mods are great. Or the or the way I say it, and I'm not alone here. Modding my characters is a ton of fun. You know what sucks? Farming and slicing them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to kind of run through the, these the challenges real quick and just kind of give a, give a brief, well, full disclosure of your statements. They'll, the, these are opinions. They'll come off as like statements, but you can disagree. I don't farm health mods. They give them to me for free. Yeah. I mean, I've done it before in a pinch, or when I'm trying to find, like, I'm going to farm some health mods going forward for Grievous specifically once I get his team done. Because he's, him and Daka and a handful of other need health with health percent as secondary. So there might be a, some amount of farming health mods, although I don't look forward to that because that's going to feel gross. What, yeah. what are your thoughts on health mods and farming them? <laughs> um, for the most part, uh, you know, having played the game for four years, I really don't have to quote-unquote farm health mods. Um, I did have to... F I think I bought a couple that had speed just to give Grievous a little bit of speed. Um, get him above 200. Uh, which I, I say that and it's that's like I think 60 speed I want to say let me, let me check real quick my grievous is super slow well, <laughs> for those same reasons I tried to put as much health on him as I could and I just don't have the speed secondaries on the health percent mods so at some point I might actually farm some health mods or hope to get lucky from challenges So, yeah, I, I, I don't tend to farm health mods for those reasons. It may become necessary going forward when we know more about new characters, relics, etc., and who needs health. Yeah. Defense. I, I feel like defense is picking up a little bit of traction with Gear 13 because of armor rates. Definitely the problem with I feel relics, with actually, it is. <laughs> Yeah, the problem I, I've always found with defense mods is that defense doesn't scale well. By that I mean, like, defense percent, and it 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 tends to... I don't know the algorithm, and you'd have to talk to, like, Micaeus or someone who actually knows, like, the algorithm. But it doesn't benefit high armor rate tanks. As, it doesn't benefit high armor rates as much. Right, so when you get 20% defense, that's a smaller portion the higher your armor is. Right. Instead of being a bigger percentage because it's a bigger pool, it's a smaller percentage. Yeah. So, so basically, it doesn't... I've, I've found, maybe maybe Rux will change that, we'll see going forwards. Um, but I'm not sold that you should farm these yet. What are, what are your thoughts, Kyle? Um... I mean, yeah, you don't really. It really, it, it really depends on on what you currently need in your in for your character for your roster. Um, hence the you know my little attention uh, disclaimer in the in the title or in the description. You know, obviously, everybody's going to have different needs <clears throat> for their mods um plain and simple and uh you know what myself or or you know i might need is something is totally different than what dagger might need so you you, you mean this one 
<laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no. No, no, I, we, no, no, we all need speed mods. It's like what you need might be different. No, no it's 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 still the speed mods. I, I, it, it, <laughs> it, I mean, it's, you're not lying. Uh, <laughs> but um, it, it, it depends. I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, de it definitely does depend where you are in the game as well. <laughs> Right. So I especially don't recommend health or defense mods for newer players. I mean, obviously, now that you don't have to, like, when I started farming mods, I could only farm health mods because I didn't have the teams necessarily to beat the other things. I don't remember what all the teams were required for stuff, but I thought it was, like, anyone for health mods. There was, like, Rebels, Jedi. I don't remember what it was. It's not important because you can basically, once you have a team strong enough to clear health mods, you can just be able to farm all the mods at that moment. Yeah, exactly. Which is good. Which is good. But I give I give health mods a solid C. You don't need to farm them. They give you plenty. They're, but you pro it's pro don't feel embarrassed if you farm them for, if you farm them we'll say target farming. Right? So if you're looking for right, a specific secondary. Um, defense mods I give a D. A solid D. No pun intended. You want a handful of them? But I, I don't want defensive secondaries. Why do I want defensive like sets? Right. I'm not saying defense isn't beneficial. It's just they have the biggest effect on relic specifically, which means you don't really need to farm them until you have a bunch of tanks relic. Although right now what we're doing is we're relicking all of our attackers, so we don't even have to really worry yeah. about this yet. So I, I give defense mods a low grade. Well, I, again, what are, what are your thoughts on that, Kyle? Well, so defense mods, like he said, you don't need a ton of them, but you do, and you do actually get those for free. Um, I don't remember which event gives them, but one of the little, I think it was, it's one of the mythic events actually gives you. Um, defensive mods um ha like so i happen to have a couple like solid defensive mods uh defensive defense set mods with some pretty high secondary speeds are um though they're good for like you know scion your boss you know someone that uh you need going pretty fast but not super fast and then on top of that you know those are two very tanky characters high, have high armor rates it helps bolster their their armor but yep. if you are at the point where you don't need you know right now you're just, you're, you you want to get your speeds down first that's what you need yep basically the other reason i gave it a d is because it should be this is probably the second lowest priority mod to farm, in my opinion, of the, you know, of the challenges. And we'll talk more about my, my order at the end of this. Spoiler, speed is number one. Spoiler. Um, I don't think that's actually a spoiler. Though. So we're yeah, going to continue does. with the small sets, and we're going to move on to crit chance. Um. If you're end game, you've been farming crit chance for a while. Um, you, if you've been playing this game two plus years, etc., you probably have a, a decent amount of crit chance mods. You probably don't need more. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, crit chance is a now. The, obviously, this is for crit yep. chance sets, not to be confused for secondaries. This oh is... yeah, we're. Yeah, this whole video is about sets. Just sets, period. We're yes. not even going to dive into secondaries. <laughs> That's a whole different subject. That's like a 12-hour conversation that barely scratches the, scratches the surface. Yeah, exactly. And that, <laughs> and that, like, I feel far less comfortable talking about in an abstract because it depends so much from character to character. Yeah, it really does. Because every um, character needs a different mod set, different secondaries. Yes. I think that crit chance mods are low impact. They are that what they give is great, but it's only 8% crit chance. So I think for the end game players, they're low impact because they don't slice particularly 
like when you're slicing the 60 for gear 12 tunes, a lot of your gear 12 tunes don't need a ton of crit chance. And this is where I'll kind of talk about secondaries a little bit. A lot of the small sets, you can get equivalent, you can get almost equivalent secondary stats as primary stats. For example, I have several mods that have six ish percent and of crit chance at, in the secondary versus the eight percent you can get from a set. So once your character keeps leveling up and gets more gear and gets more crit chance, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you definitely can start straying away from crit chance. However, a lot of your special damage dealers will still want crit chance because a lot of the Jedi do special damage and special crit chance is just abysmally low. So there'll still be tunes that want crit chance. Crit chance is a lot lower for more established players. I give them, I give them like, I give crit chance like a C plus B minus somewhere in there. We'll, we'll, we'll round it up to a B minus because you're going to want a bunch of these for like your gear 11 tunes. Yeah. And a lot of your, and a lot of your Jedi and they're, you're, they're, you're going to use them. Any like high speed or high offense secondary you get, you can still use it as a broken set. They, they still have good value. They just, have low, they're just low impact once you start hitting relics. Thoughts? Uh, no, that checks out. Um, you, it, it, that's, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, it, it's really one of those things, especially with relics, you really don't need crit chance, crit to farm uh, crit chance sets. Um, because, like you were saying, you can get what you need from a crit chance secondary <laughs> easily. Yeah. I would still recommend farming these if you're a newer player. You're, yes. you're, again, you're not going to get punished for farming these. They're going to be useful until forever. I still have crit chance on a bunch of tunes. I have crit chance sets on a bunch of tunes because my gear 11 and some of my gear 12 tunes need them. And like I said, a lot of my Jedi need them. Like my Yoda wants a crit chance set. He doesn't because... I have crit chance secondaries, et cetera, et cetera. But you generally <laughs> want... No, I'm just being honest. Like You want crit chance on a lot of your characters. You do. So you're not going to get punished for farming these. No. Uh, like I said, I give, them, I give it a B-. It's, it's good. More, You'll this, use them forever. In They'll the small sets, it's probably more, uh, the second best. Yes. It's the second best mod small set that you will farm. I think it's pro. I think crit chance is equal with health. Health yeah. scales. Health is health scales better. So health mods give you ten percent, which scales better as you hit gear thirteen. Uh, but we'll talk more about like how to rank these at the end. <laughs> um, th so we're gonna move on to tenacity. I think tenacity is the best small set in the game right now, because we're moving away from crit chance as we're getting towards gear thirteen. I think. With everyone getting these jacked up numbers and jacked up stats, I think tenacity is just one of those free small sets. No one is going to hurt because of tenacity. Plus, a set is twenty percent tenacity. That's quite a bit. It's it's quite a bit of tenacity. Yeah, and you so, couple that with a tenacity cross and jeepers back. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It can it can get aggressive in a hurry. Like you're looking like eighty five. 84, sorry, 84% crit chance. No, tenacity, right? Tenacity. 84% 84, 84 tenacity, and that's without secondaries from three tenacity sets and across. Yeah. Like, that's that's a, a significant amount that you're looking at. So, yes, once, once you start stacking stuff on top, tenacity gets great in a hurry. Um, I, I have a tenacity set on my Chewbacca with tenacity secondaries on my other mods. Because he doesn't need crit chance anymore at gear 13 with a relic. as Because I've as, as I leveled up his relic to 5. So I just have a tenacity set on him so he doesn't get dazed. Yeah, because what's a, to, what's to a help, dazed Chewbacca? I mean... Not a whole lot. Know. He does not we do should, anything. <laughs> I feel like there's an opportunity for that to be really funny, and we just dropped the ball on it. See, this is the kind of stuff that we need to do prep for. <laughs> And we shouldn't do these impromptu ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. There's there's probably a, a definitely a good joke in there, and uh, we fumbled it. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I I like tenacity a lot. I think 
tenacity has always been slightly undervalued. And I think it's definitely starting to come to the forefront, especially since we're talking about targets. And by that, I mean, you're, you're talking about like targeting characters to jack their tenacity through the roof. Right. Yeah. Like there's plenty, there's a lot of tunes where people are like, you want to have like 180% tenacity on your nest. I mean, obviously that's not reasonable unless you're clash DOE, but <laughs> you really need to put tenacity on a lot of your tanks or at least a tenacity cross, right? Like, and, and we'll talk about, we'll talk about secondaries in probably a different video, but tenacity, I think holds a lot of value early and late game because you can plug them on anyone. Attackers need tenacity. So, uh, tanks need tenacity. Support characters need tenacity. So I ran Every, into, everyone benefits. Yes, oh, sorry, absolutely. Right. I actually ran into a. I think since the emergence of Malik, tenacity kind of got pushed forward so hard. Um, and you don't even really need like you put a. A tenacity cross on your on your Malik, and all of a sudden he's re he, you won't land a debuff on him. <laughs> yeah, it, it it gets frustrating. So uh, you know, it's an a it, and not just that. Now with Relic, well, with Gear Thirteen, tenacity got a huge boost because a lot of your tanks gained quite a bit of tenacity from their finisher pieces. And now with relics, yep. those tanks are getting even more tenacity. So yes, tenacity is is huge and it's probably for as 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 you said, the small sets, those are the most beneficial to well, end it's the most game flexible and early game. Yes. Yeah, it's super they're super flexible. So basically another thing is too with tenacity mods is once, once we start talking about secondaries and primaries of mods, we'll, we'll get into this more. But one of the things about tenacity mods is if you're farming if you're farming tenacity mods as a newer player and you're like, oh man, what's going to happen to these mods when I get better ones? Well, tenacity is kind of like health. You can put it anywhere. So as you get better versions of these mods, you can just trickle them down. A buddy of ours, uh, Brain Kill, he... he he didn't necessarily coin the term, but he like he 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 made us chuckle with the term trickle down modonomics. Yeah, right. <laughs> definitely, definitely Frickin made me laugh. Nailed it. Freaking nailed. Yeah, it. yeah. So tenacity scales well because all your bad tenacity mods still usually have tenacity secondaries. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's one of the reasons too. And we'll talk about that more as we talk about primaries and secondaries in future videos. And we'll get to the last small set, which I think is probably, in my opinion, is the most the, useless small set in the game. Potency. Yeah. Oh, it, tenacity. I give I give it an A. By the way, I give tenacity an A. Yes. Solid A. You you won't. My grades are based on farming them early, mid, and late game. You you'll never feel bad to have these mods in your inventory. So coming to potency, potency is fine. There's nothing wrong with putting potency on your characters. There's nothing wrong with farming a little bit of potency mods. You get some for free from a couple of different... Uh, what are they? The, the like mythic, mythic battles? Myth mythic battles or uh, assault battles? One, uh, one of those, yeah. those events. They give you a few... They give you a few you get a, I get a handful for free every month, I feel like. I, none of them are ever good, but I get a handful of them for free every month. Yeah, and like, um, so very few characters actually... like benefit from potency mods i feel like well, well, because you can just put a potency cross on them and on the characters and all of a sudden boom they operate as intended <laughs> well i think to be a little more specific i think i think what, i agree with you but i think you should change it to tunes that desperately need potency there's not a laundry list of characters that desperately need potency so two that come to mind like desperately um and I think I have both of them modded with uh, all three potency sets. Uh, Tarkin, because uh, his his kit is literally built around him having potency, and B2. Because yeah. you want him, you know, clearing the buffs, which is a potency check, which I didn't, didn't actually know. I think... Um, 
I think I was talking to somebody and uh, they, they, they said uh, it is a potency check to remove remove the buffs or something. I don't remember. No, it's not a potency check or, to remove the buffs. Is it? Um, no, it's not. This isn't Strike Force. There's no there's no potency check to remove buffs, unfortunately. That's uh -huh. just kind of a static. If they don't have foresight, he'll remove them. Gotcha. I, I I'm not a hundred percent how that works, but yeah, I I have my B two. Have he has a tena he has an he has a potency cross, a potency set, and two tenacity sets. So I don't want him to get ability block. But right. I find the only characters that I want to mod with pure potency. I think I have Emperor Palpatine with six with six uh, with with three potency sets, and I think I have Tarkin with three potency sets. Yeah. The other problem with potency sets is they only give fifteen percent. Like when you come in here, it's like. They give 15% potency. That's it. A, like, they give... A set gives... A, gives half as much as a 6E cross. Which, again, drives the value of this set way down, in my opinion. Just the fact, again, that, like, I have a bunch of... I have a bunch of mods that have 5 to 6% potency on their secondaries. Mm -hmm. I'd much rather do that because it doesn't require me having to farm potency mods. I think potency mods are the worst small set to farm. Yeah. That's my opinion, though. You can disagree. No, I, I, <laughs> I agree. It's... Yeah, I mean, I'm firmly of the notion that early game, you want to farm uh, crit chance, and you want to farm tenacity as your small sets. So you'll get a bunch of free health ones. Once you get to the late game, I wouldn't fault you for farming some health mods for target, for targeted like secondaries for things like Grievous or Daka. If you were looking for such things, because you'll probably benefit or with a even, couple of decent like speed mods out of that right. too, while you're farming, you'll just say. trip and fall on some decent speed. That's the theory, at least. So I would I would definitely try and stay away from defense and potency. Defense only because we aren't 100% sure how it interacts with, with relics or how big of an impact it will have. So we will, I, I will, I, the jury's kind of out on defense, but as of the past, I'm going to pass on defense mods. Anything you want, is, how would you rank the small sets and what would be your uh, advice um, definitely, so early game, starting out, definitely want to do some crit chance, because crit, crit chance in the early game, getting some, will, it will definitely help you, uh, get through a lot of the, the battles and stuff you need to do, um, and then your tenacity for your tanks and, uh, stuff like that. Um, defense mods are probably more, you know, the health mods you're going to stumble upon. You don't really need to farm those unless you're not getting ones you need. They're a target farm depending on where you stand in your roster. Defense is going to be probably a mid, like, end of the mid game, early, early end game farm to, you know, basically bolster your tanks for your GAC defenses and stuff like that. You know, make your make your teams a little tougher to get through. Um, yeah. Potency. Yeah, I don't think I don't if, I don't think defense is bad. I just think that defense rolls too much on my secondaries for me to justify farming some defense. Mods. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's 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 the other reason I put them so low. Is this kind of just saltiness over my defense always rolls. <laughs> uh, it does give a decent boost, though. I think it's twenty five percent defense. Yeah, you, yeah, you, twenty five percent defense. Defense definitely gives you a good boost. Um, for good a bang for your buck. You definitely. Yes. For your guy, yeah. go away. This, this you're not important. You were fired. We don't. The, get to, we don't adult, get to look at the comments and listen to you. The adult, the adults are talking. Everybody. The adults are talking. <laughs> Mister, <laughs> Mister, I'm still early game. Oh wow! Shots fired. <laughs> big, 
Yeah, so I would personally rank these as far as overall usage. I would say crit chance first. Definitely. Tenacity second. And then I would say health and then defense and then potency. The only reason, again, the only reason I put health above defense is that you're going to get them for free. And you will, in, and you don't need a high density of defense mods, in my opinion. No. Um, for for example, like I don't, I can't think of many things that I would target farm off a defense mod that I couldn't get off of a tenacity mod or a health mod. Yeah, no. So like, you... if I'm farming defense mods, I'm looking for defense and tenacity secondaries. But if I just farm tenacity mods with defense secondaries. Anyway, anyways, it, it, to me at least it's kind of a wash because the tenacity mods I feel are more flexible and they do a lot of the same things. So that, that's why I have them where they are. Yeah. How, how would you rank them, DBK? Um, I'm going to say I'm going to switch health and defense. I'm going to go crit chance, tenacity, defense, health, potency. Yeah. Just because... <laughs> You get so you, many health mods that you really don't need to farm them. You you, you okay. stumble upon them. Um, and, like, defense, I feel just a, a bit more than health. Uh, especially, like, on your tanks like Boss, we were talking about earlier. When you, when you get his... When you get him to a speed that you want him at... And you're looking for a, a, a second set, or your your small set to put on him. Put him up with a def put him with a defensive set. Um, you can't go wrong. Your boss is, especially on your bounty hunters, he's got to take a beating, and he's got a pretty high armor uh, armor rate as it is. So why not make it more annoying? Yeah, and before we move on to the 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 large sets. I know there's going to be somebody, and I'm not saying it. Okay, I'm not even saying anybody's watching this or is going to comment, but somebody's going to think. But Dan, you gave Tenacity a higher grade than you gave Crit Chance. Well, the bar for keeping a Tenacity mod, we'll talk about this in future videos about secondaries and primaries. The bar for keeping a Tenacity mod is much lower than the bar for keeping a Crit Chance mod. Yeah. Uh, that's why I have it higher, is because you're going to need to farm a higher volume of Crit Chance mods to find enough good ones that you are going to use end game as opposed to tenacity mods where you really only need speed and tenacity on the secondaries on crit chance mods. You need offense, offense percent crit chance uh, speed, right? You're looking for like three pieces because you want to put them on attackers where with tenacity, you can put it on basically anybody. If you get defense roles, you can put it on a defense too. You put it on a tank. If you get offense roles, you can put it on like, I, I can put it on my Chewbacca. That's why I put Crit Chance higher on the list of mods to farm while still giving it a lower grade. Yep. So let's move on to the fu let's move on to the fun to the fun uh, sets. Crit damage and offense kind of go hand in hand, so we'll kind of mention those at the same time. I'll let you start off. What are your thoughts? So crit damage <laughs> actually has lost a lot of relevancy as of. Probably the last six months, maybe, maybe a little longer. Um, a, a lot of a lot of. I get. I feel like a lot of people have moved away from crit damage mods and gone strictly offense mods. Uh, just for the simple fact, I think it's, uh, you get a bigger, bigger boost overall from having an offense set than you do crit damage set. So I, I think, yeah, I think, uh, offense mods slightly edge out crit damage because, you know, if you have your, your, Offense sets, what is it, 20% for crit, or offense, 15. So 15% 15 offense, um, 
and especially with <laughs> so with relics a lot of your attackers actually gain uh, crit damage as as you put relics on them so you want you know as they're gaining crit damage yeah it's better to you know it's nice to have more I guess crit damage but if you can't back it up with your crit chance sets it's easier to do offense so offense has been a little more utilized because if you can't if you don't have the the crit chance you know the proper crit chance you're not gonna be able to utilize that 30 30 percent from uh, crit damage you know Does that make sense? No, I, I get it. I mean, this is where we're going to disagree. Um, I think, and this is my opinion, that crit damage has gained a lot more since Relics in Gear 13. Because people's crit chances have gone through the roof. Well, okay, and so... Let, offense sets yeah. give 15% offense, whereas crit damage sets give 30% crit damage. Right? So you're getting a bigger damage output once you get your crit chance that starts to hit things like 90%, right? And we're seeing lots of tunes with their damage output hitting, with their uh, crit chance hitting like 80 to 90%. And I think at that rate, I think, and I don't know the exact numbers. I know Wink from uh, Shattered Order did math a while back. And I don't remember I don't remember what it is, but like my number is always 75%. If I can get it over, get you over 75% crit chance, I prefer a crit damage set. Right. Um, I don't remember what the actual number is. I mean, obviously, the higher you can push it, the better the crit damage set is. But, yeah, this is where I will disagree with you, DPK. I think crit damage has gained a lot of traction. Um, they do almost the same thing, except I think offense mods are better for things like raids, things like that, because you get consistent damage over time. But I think when you're talking about things like GAC and, like, Arena... When it comes down to how fast can you, when your attackers need that burst damage, I think you, I think you want the crit damage. Again, that's why, that's why I mod my Han and Chewie for crit damage. That's why everyone preaches crit damage triangles. I mean, obviously that's a different story for a different time, because that obviously translates way better than offense triangles. But right. I think that there are a handful of tunes that do want offense, and I think there are a handful of tunes that want crit damage. When you're a newer player, I think you want to farm more offense mods because they're general. the The consistent offense is going to give you the best bang for your buck, in my opinion. But I think you are going to want two to three good crit damage sets early. So I would, I, I think I would say farm crit damage mods at the very beginning with your crit chance mods. But I would pivot into offense mods because there are some tunes that just don't crit. And there yeah. are some tunes that do special damage, like Grandmaster Yoda is like one of the best examples. That little that little guy bounces all over the place and just doesn't crit. Yeah, he, he he's does, got a he, he super does, low crit chance. I mean, he does crit, but like you're not trying to maximize his crit. You just want to crank his offense. Yeah, you want him to his offense just to be outrageous. Yes, and i I think I think at least that you should farm a couple of good crit damage sets and then pivot into offense because you're going to need offense for all the PvE stuff. Because like I said, I think once you get into the PvE stuff, you want the consistent damage all the time because you'll get the same output right. for every hit. Or with crit damage, you have to jump through a hoop, which is a crit. Yeah. Especially well, when that's... you're early and, and your characters are gear 9, gear 10, gear 11. You're, even your physical damage dealers like Ezra, their crit chance just isn't going to be that high. Yeah. But I think I think at the very beginning you want a couple of crit damage sets for arena, etc. And I think you want a lot more crit damage at the at the end game with relics because a lot of the relics give crit chance. And once you start getting to gear thirteen, you get crit chance. And I think DPK is correct when he talks about offense mods being, I don't want to say better, but being like more, more consistent. But I think you want I think crit damage mods, especially like with relics and as 
crit and as like crit chance becomes more obsolete as you get higher, crit damage then becomes even more important. So, how w- how would you rank them for the early game players, DPK? For early game players, um, in my opinion, early game players should be focusing on the PVE content. So I'm going to say it's going to be offense. Because okay. if you can start out early doing good in your raids, you're going to get better gear, which means you're going to be able to level your, you know, gear your character better. Um, yep. that, that, obviously, this is an opinion. Um, so if, if you're able to, obviously, you know, try to get your, uh, get your offense done up there. So then when it comes to it, you can sit there and you can farm your crit damage. <clears throat> well, we can at least agree that we can both agree that they're both A tier, right? Oh, absolutely. All right. <laughs> so no, ma- no matter where you fall on it, and everyone can make their own ad- can make their own decisions on what to farm early and late. But they are both excellent. They're, there's only three large sets in the game, and now we're going to get to the S tier, the only S tier mod in the game. This piece of crap right here. <laughs> Speed is king, guys. Speed <sighs> is king. No matter how you cut it. Speed is king. And I have a few hot takes on speed mods, so I'll let, I'll let DPK start us off again. Well, I was kind of hoping you'd have put the smack or something. Um, so, speed mods are... <laughs> you, you, you're not going anywhere any anytime fast, in, pun intended, uh, um, in arena without some good speeds and not just good speeds but good speed sets as well because as you progress in the game you get your gear 13s you get your your, all that stuff and it's relevant it's always going to be relevant no matter how you how you cut it you'll always need it (laughs) <laughs> yes. So, I mean, I you can't you know, I can't really say much about speed that you most people don't know. You know you, you, if you don't do it, you're not gonna get it. If you don't get it, you're not gonna win. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I have a couple of hot takes on speed mods. And while I agree, speed mods are probably, like, they're the, well, <laughs> I can say almost definitively, it's going to be really hard to sway me from this argument, that they are the only S-tier mod in the game. They are the most important set. However, I think, and this is, again, this is just my opinion, I think early players shouldn't go ham on speed mods. And the reason I say that is because if you get decent speeds on your non-speed sets, you have to remember that speed sets give you a 10% boost in speed, which is good. I'm not saying it isn't. And you do want some good speed sets. But if you spend all your time on speed sets, you just won't deal any damage either. So it's a, I think my, so my hot take is you should only farm speed mods when you need more speed mods. When your non-speed mods outpace your speed mods, you should then farm more speed mods. And by that, I mean, uh, we'll kind of go into my inventory to. So, so if I'm looking at my speed secondaries. Okay, can we talk about this in a little bit? I, I also. Yes. Damn it, I was hoping you can put the freaking mattress back on the bed. Oh, wait. We're on a second. I think, at least for me, at least. Short stream my ass. Well, that's not my fault. (laughs) We have a lot to say. Right? (laughs) This is important. (laughs) 
<laughs> so what I was saying about the speed mods is you want a ton of speed mods. I'm not disagreeing. But if you have, if you have, a, you want to farm other mods first, in my opinion, and you want to farm some speed mods, but you want to be able to supplement your speed mods. We'll come, we'll come and look at like some of my other characters, like Thrawn. You want your other speed mods. You want your other mods to kind of keep up speed secondary wise, right? So if you have a bunch of speed mods with like 18 speed, etc., but you ignore your crit damage mods. And, it, and things like that. Like, say you only have crit damage mod with offense secondaries and no speed. There's there's a delicate balance that I think... I don't want to say people ignore it, but I, th I think people forget that other mods do matter. Yes. So I guess my hot take is speed mods should only be, like, 25% of your inventory. <laughs> you know? Like, people that I talked to, they are like, I've been farming speed for like six months and I can't yada, yada, yada. I can't deal damage in this. I was talking to somebody, they couldn't deal damage in the Sith Raid and it's because they don't have any crit damage or offense mods. Yeah. So that, that's kind of my hot take is that you don't need to farm speed mods more than any other, more than all the others combined. You just need to farm it more than any of the others. If that kind of makes sense. You need to find your, your ebb and flow. Yeah, no pun intended. Or pun intended. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even realize you're still on Thrawn. <laughs> yeah. But so no, it, it, it really did... As you play the game more, you, you, you start to realize, yes, speed does matter, but there are other things that matter as well. Because if you don't have good offense secondaries... Uh, with in, in your offense sets, guess what? Your Grandmaster Yoda's, he's going to be flying around the battlefield, but he's going to only, only be hitting for 20k. My yep. Yoda hits for, on basics, for 80, 80k without critting. That's what you want. You want to be, you want to find your balance so that you're comfortable, you, you have not, you, your speed's right, but you want to also have your damages right. Yeah. And I kind of went around my, my little, the little horn here showing you guys that like, on my speed, I'll do it really quick here again. If you look at all my speed, I have them sorted by speed. I know I don't, I lied. We'll sort them by speed and you'll see like, they're not all speed mods. Having a good balance of speed and health, you know, you know, speed, speed set your speed secondaries on their yeah, different having, sets is helpful. Also, having fast, having some fast offense mods, having some fast tenacity mods, having some fast crit damage mods, having some fast potency mods. Well, not maybe not the potency mods. Oh, this, this, so when we so say like speed this, is king, we mean speed secondaries are king. Yes, correct. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not if trying you guys to say haven't you f figured that yeah. out by yet. Not Again, not. I'm not trying to say you shouldn't farm speed mods. I think a lot of people tend to ignore other mods. Yeah. Like, for example, my current GA opponent has no offense or crit damage mods. He has roughly equal speed mods. Yeah, my, my but he, but, opponent but, but his, has but his roughly tunes, equal. His, his tunes are kind of noodly. And that that that's that's a huge deal. Yeah, let me actually um, pull up my DSR bot real quick, because um, my my opponent, he, like he's almost got identical uh, speed mods as me, but I like, yeah. So we're off. I he, I've got one more plus ten than him. Two more. He's got two more plus fifteens. I've got three more plus twenties. But I bury him by thirty five offense plus one hundreds. Yeah. Well, I don't think the plus one. I don't think the plus one hundred offense mods actually matter anymore. Yeah, uh, that, that has really don't. that has. In I don't think that's been a relevant stat. I stopped sharing my screen. I don't know if you have to edit. Uh the stream but um i don't think the plus 100 offense mods have mattered since i don't know june 
When did Gear 13 come out? July. Okay, since July. And, he, and I, w- I would almost argue from before that. But yeah, bear in mind, speed is good on any mod. Don't ever be afraid to put a broken set on a character if it speeds them up. Yep, definitely. And hopefully next week we'll be back with another installment of mods. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to try to do this um, about once a week. Just it'll be a little a lo- uh, little less because we'll we'll start b- basically talking about primaries. And then we'll go, and then following that, you know, we'll start talking about different secondaries. And we might break that up into a different, like a couple different um, sections, segments. Yes. Because secondaries are, uh, it's a, it's a very informative (laughs) segment. Yes, and this was kind of an impromptu one that probably lasted way longer than it needed to, and I do apologize to Lady Pool for that. <laughs> um, She'll get over it. <laughs> well, she's going to kill me, <laughs> but we will see you guys on, well, we'll see you guys on Sunday for tomorrow for Grand Arena. Yep, should be a, should be an interesting match for me, um, seeing what my opponent does because he only like participated in like I think four rounds of GA la- uh, the last month, <laughs> so I didn't really get a good look at s- to see what kind of o- or if he went full offense or full defense. But he's gonna have fun with my defenses. I know that. Yes. Well, I'm gonna let you get to bed. Yep. You guys have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. Bye.